Meet Jake. Jake is a happy little boy who has three very special friends who live in his pocket. Let's go and meet them. Deep inside Jake's pocket, the pocket snails were having some fun. Woohoo! Oh, I almost had it then. Woohoo! Got it. Just then, Jake reached into his pocket. Hello, pocket snails. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. Hi. What's new with you, Jake? My sister is learning how to use the potty for the first time. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello, pocket snails. I remember when you stopped using diapers, Jake. When Jake was younger, he used to wear diapers, just like his younger sister does now. Perhaps you wear them too. You wear diapers to help stop the mess when your body makes pee and poop. Some people call pee pee pee, wee wee, or number one, and they call poop poo poo or number two. Perhaps your family has different names for them. We'll call it pee and poop. His mummy and daddy would change his diaper every time he did a pee or poop in it. They'd throw the dirty one away, wipe his bottom clean, and put a clean one on. There we go, nice and clean again. Once Jake was older, his mummy and daddy taught him how to do his pee and poop in a potty instead. What a big boy Jake felt. He was very proud of himself and so were his mummy and daddy. Imagine how proud you'll feel when you learn to use the potty too. Going in a potty doesn't feel much different to going in a diaper, but it's much cleaner. He'd pull down his nice new underwear, he'd sit on his potty and go. When he was finished, the pee, poop and sometimes both were in his potty. His mummy or daddy would wipe him clean and he'd pull his underwear back up. Then he'd wash his hands clean with soap. And now Jake's even older, he uses the grown-up potty called a toilet and he wipes himself. Now that you're ready to start using the potty, let's see if the pocket snails can help you and Wendy learn how. Cool. Yes, I remember when I learned to use the potty. I don't think Wendy's ever used a potty before. Hey, I've got a great idea. We can go and take some pictures for Wendy of all the things you need to know to use the potty. Brilliant idea, Gordon. Let's go. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you pocket, pocket snails. Where's 
should we go? I know just the thing. Ta-da! Wow, what is it, Gordon? This is the Potty Steps map. It's what Jake used when he was learning to use the potty. It will help us too. We can follow the map and take pictures along the way. It shows each step you need to follow to use the potty. It's important to follow each step. So, let's see what we need to do first. The first step in going to the potty is knowing you need to go. And that means when you get the feeling that your body needs to do a pee, poop or sometimes both. Then you tell a grown-up, like your mummy or daddy. Next, you head to the bathroom, which is where we are right now. But how will we get in? I've got a plan. I don't think I can squeeze through. Hmm, let's see here. <laughs> That's right, Buttons. That's the potty. Let's go and take a look. It's a very long way away. Not if you can zoom along like me. Wow! You two go on ahead and I'll take a picture of you both next to the potty. Hop aboard, Buttons. Hold on. Nearly there! <laughs> now, let's see if we can find them. Hmm... Not there. Ah, there they are. Wow! So this is where you go when you do a pee or poop? Yep, this is it. You sit down on top of it and do a pee or poop inside. Phew! OK, so now you've found the potty. The next step is to pull down your underwear. Sit on the potty and go. And don't forget, it may take some time. You might have some accidents and that's OK. Just keep on trying. Right, Buttons?
OK, so now you've finished using the potty. Let's see what comes next. Aha, that's right. When you've finished going potty, it's time to wipe yourself clean with toilet paper. Hmm, there should be some toilet paper around here somewhere. Can you see the toilet paper? I see it, Gordon. Well done, Dale. Let's see if you two can climb up and I'll take a picture. Woohoo! Going down. Good idea, Dale. Ready! Going up. Say cheese! Hold tight, Gordon! What's next, Gordon? Once you've wiped, you pull up your underwear. Then everything from the potty goes into the grown-up potty, called a toilet, and is flushed away. See a real grown up potty too? Of course, Buttons. It's right next to you, over there. You two hop over and I'll take another picture. Whee! How's a grown up potty different to a little potty? Well, the smaller one is just the right size for kids who are learning how to use the potty. A toilet is much bigger because it's for grown-ups and older kids and it has a way of flushing the waste away. When you push this handle, it flushes everything in the toilet bowl down there away. Look, I'll show you. Oh, maybe I'm not heavy enough. Let me have a go. Nearly. Here we go. That did it. Now all the waste has been flushed away. <laughs> Excellent. This is the last step when you're learning to use the potty. Wash your hands with soap at the sink. It's important to wash your hands with soap after you've been using the potty so that it gets rid of all the germs. How do you use soap? Oh, I know. It's easy. You press down on this pump here to squirt out some soap on your hands. It's a bit hard to do when you're little like me. I think I'm going to have to jump a bit higher to squirt this soap out. Let's jump with them. One, two, three, yeah! Nearly there. One, two, three, yeah! Yeah! A bit more. One, two, three, yeah! Keep going. One, two, three, yeah! That did it. Dale used liquid soap to wash. Some houses have a bar of soap instead. What type does your house use? And you use water with the soap to get really clean. And that's it. We've done it. We've seen all the potty steps. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Come on in, the water's fine. Woohoo! Woohoo! Catch buttons. All right. <laughs> Catch. Whee! Uh. Oh. Whoa! Hold on, buttons. Whoa. Whee! Thanks, Dale. Dale? There he is, over there. Dale. Dale. <sighs> hey, Wendy, Jake, we had a bathroom adventure. Gordon had the potty steps map. It showed us every step you need to follow to use the potty. 
And we saw all the new things you'll use. And Gordon took lots of pictures to show you. Wow, that sounds great. Can we see the Potty Steps map? Here you go. It's a bit small. I don't think I'll be able to read that. Just a moment, please. There, that's more like it. Thanks, Gordon. Here you go, Wendy. Jake, Wendy and the Pocket Snails looked at the pictures and the Potty Steps map together. All right, Wendy. Follow the Potty Steps map with your finger and we'll tell you about each step you need to learn to use the potty. OK. The first step is knowing when you need to go. And when you get that feeling, it's time to tell a grown-up that you need to go potty. Then where do you think you go next, Wendy? Bathroom. Yeah, well done, Wendy. You're learning fast. OK, once you're in the bathroom, you need to pull down your underwear and sit on the potty. A potty? What's that? Jake, show her the picture. Here you go, Wendy. This is a potty. It's where you do pee and poop instead of in a diaper. Oh, I see. It might take some time to learn how to use it and you might have a few accidents at first. But you're a big kid now and you can do it. Once you've finished going potty, you need to wipe yourself clean with toilet paper. A grown-up will help you do that. Paper? Oh, I've got a picture of that. Oh! You pull up your underwear. And then a grown-up will flush the waste away from your potty to the grown-up potty, called a toilet. Toy... 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 <laughs> toilet. Here, Jake has a picture. The toilet is a big potty for grown-ups and older kids. The great thing about a toilet is you can flush the waste away by pressing on a special handle. The last thing you need to do is wash your hands clean with soap and water at the sink. What's a sink? This is where you wash your hands to get rid of all the germs. And that's it, Wendy. Now you know the Pocket Snails Potty Steps. Wow, thank you, Pocket Snails. Oh, I think I need to go to potty right now. Would I be able to have the potty steps map with me so I can remember each step, please? Of course, Wendy. That's exactly what it's for. Good luck. Now that Wendy knew she needed to go potty, she checked the potty steps map to see what the next step was. She told her mummy and they went to the bathroom. Wendy was wearing her big girl underwear. She didn't need to wear diapers anymore. She pulled down her underwear and sat on her new potty. She was very excited to be using the potty instead of diapers. A little while later, she did her pee in the potty. She was very pleased. Well done, Wendy. Good job. After her mummy had wiped her clean, Wendy pulled her underwear back up. Then her mummy put the pee from the potty into the grown-up toilet and it was time to wash her hands clean. She used soap and water to wash the germs away. Wendy was very proud of herself. What a big girl. I did it! I did it! Woohoo! Woohoo! Wendy, yay! Well done, Wendy! Way to go, Wendy! Good job, Wendy. Now keep up the good work. Wendy had learned to use the potty for the first time. And you can do it too. Let's play a game to see everything you've learned. When you get the feeling you need to go potty, who do you tell? Do you tell your mummy or daddy? Or do you tell your teddy bear? That's right. You tell a grown-up like your mummy or daddy. Once you've told your mummy or daddy, where do you need to go next to use the potty? Do you go to the beach? Or do you go to the bathroom? Yes, that's right. You head to the bathroom where the potty is. Now, you're getting ready to sit on the potty. But what do you need to do first? Do you pull down your underwear? Or do you put on your shoes? Yes, you pull down your underwear before you sit on the potty. 
Now it's time to sit on the potty and do a pee, poop or both. Once you've finished, you need to wipe. Ask your mummy or daddy to help and this is something you'll be able to do yourself when you're older. Pull up your underwear and your mummy or daddy will flush the waste away. There's one more very important step you need to do. Can you remember what it is? Do you wash your hands or do you go and play? Yes, you wash your hands to get rid of all the germs. And that's it, all the steps you need to learn to use the potty. Thanks, Pocket Snails. You've really helped Wendy learn the potty steps. Thank you. Well done, Wendy. Keep up the good work. Good luck. Hey, good luck with the potty steps. Goodbye, diapers. Goodbye, diapers. Goodbye, diapers. Imagine what a big kid you're going to feel when you've said goodbye to your diapers. Way to go! You must feel so proud of yourself. Using a potty now. How neat. Hello big kid underwear and... doesn't stop there. It's such a lot to see and do when you're a big kid that the adventures never end. 
to your diapers and say hello to your potty. Yeah, and your big kid underwear. Hooray! Hooray! We know you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Everyone had had a busy day and now it was time to say goodbye. But Jake knew it wouldn't be long till he saw his little friends again. Bye. 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 Bye.